Dear Professor Grigorieva, dear Natalia, dear colleagues, dear friends. On behalf of Professor Cyrus Cooper, President of the International Osteoporosis Foundation, IOF, and on my behalf, Jean-Yves Jenster, President of the European Society for Clinical and Economic Aspect of Osteoporosis, Osteoarthritis and Musculoskeletal Diseases, SKO, I would like, first of all, to congratulate you for organizing this Congress in a country which is currently facing such a horrible situation, a disaster that all of us were hoping to never see again. IOF and SKO share in their goals and missions the promotion of peace, love, respect, and loyalty. We would like that all components of our constituency work together for the final benefit of our patients, a situation which unfortunately is far from the unbelievable burden placed on your population, on your scientists, and on your patients. The Ukrainian Osteoporosis Association has always been one of the most active members of the IOF Committee of National Societies. Your former president, the late Professor Vladislav Borovnyuk, has been one of the first recipients of the IOF CNS medal, which I presented him as a tribute for his constant quest to provide a better life to people suffering from musculoskeletal disorders. Your current president, Professor Natalia Grigorieva, is succeeding in the terrible challenge to not only maintain the outstanding scientific level of the association built by Professor Porovniuk, but even in these tremendous times to increase the impact, the visibility, the quality, and the recognition of the Ukrainian Osteoporosis Association, she has to be praised and admired for reaching this goal. When looking at the program of the 2022 edition of your Congress, I am really impressed to see that you succeeded in covering all aspects of what really matters for the patients. Primary osteoporosis, glucocorticoid induced osteoporosis, bone and joint cross talking, sarcopenia, inflammaging. Despite the fact that the first section dedicated to the management of osteoporosis during war should never have occurred in a civilized world, it is unfortunately and against the aspirations of your people an important contribution to find solutions for an unmet medical need. As a long-term member of your scientific advisory committee, as well as a proud member of the editorial board of your journal, which year after year is more and more recognized and respected in the scientific community, I would like once again to offer you our warmer thoughts and the utmost expression again, of our expression of our support against the crimes which you are currently the victims of. We all understand that it would be difficult today and tomorrow to enjoy any type of event, but I would like to wish you to take advantage of this Congress to show once again your dedications to patients suffering from musculoskeletal diseases. We are with you to support every aspect of your quest for peace, independence, respect, and freedom. No war in Ukraine.